Welcome to my review of the Tautronix Sound Surge 90 ANC wireless headphones. At the time of making this video, you could pick these up from Amazon for £50. Are there any good? Let's find out. Inside the box, you get a 3.5mm cable should you wish to listen to them wired. You get a micro USB cable. In 2020, it really should have been a Type-C book. You get some paperwork. You get a shell case to carry them in. It's got a pocket in there. That's where the wires and the paperwork was in. Onto the actual headphones. They do feel light, I mean, they're not really light, but they're okay. They do stretch a lot. They've got some good padding around the ear cups. These are over ear headphones. And they've got some padding there as well. So if you've got little to no hair, they won't cause you any pain. They do swivel, they do fold as well. When you open them there, you can see they've got some markings there from number five to 25 on both sides. They are really flexible, cut the way they stretch. I have an average size head and when I wear them, I don't need to extend them. So if you are a smaller person, these will not be for you. The ANC does not work if you've got the headphones off because I've reviewed other headphones as well and many of you do ask that question, does it work if the headphones are off? No, it does not. It only works when the headphones are on. But the ANC in these headphones is really good. I could definitely confirm that. I put the washing machine on and I for forgot about it. I had these um, headphones on and I was listening to my music and all of a sudden I felt the room shake and I thought we were having an earthquake. Looked back, took the headphones off and I realised that the washing machine was on. So the ANC does do its job, it does keep sounds out. The controls are on the right ear cup, volume up and volume down. And they also your next track and previous track on off slash multi-function button, LED indicator, 3.5 mm jack microphone because you can talk on the phone with these as well. ANC button. When you do turn them on for the first time, the ANC is on by default. So if you want to turn the ANC off, you have to physically turn it off. Noise cancelling microphone on, on the right cup and then one on the left cup micro usb charging port and the status light there patience overhead type headphones 40 millimeter drivers bluetooth 5.0 they have a range of 10 meters battery capacity 500 million power if you listen to anc you get a runtime of 30 hours if you listen to just the bluetooth by itself no anc you get a runtime of 35 hours charging takes 45 minutes and you get a runtime of 35 hours these do have a quick charge where five minutes will give you two hours i was surprised about that because obviously it doesn't have a type c charger but it does work on to the main thing then how do they sound surprisingly good actually you could tell the mids from the highs because they over your headphones you can really tell the bass in my opinion the bass in some songs is too much but if you do like listening to a lot of bass they're okay for you range they say 10 meters but i've had slightly less than that but then again do bear in mind i have tried other earphones and headphones as well so i'm giving a general experience from all the rest of them if these are your first headphones or these are your only headphones you'll be pleased with them especially for the price of 50 pounds battery life has been good i have been listening to them for two weeks and so far i have not needed to charge them but bear in mind i've been only listening to them like an hour here, two hours there, not continuously like eight hours or six hours every single day. But then again, the battery life is something, it depends how loud you listen to the music. If you listen to it really loud, of course, it will consume a lot more battery. If you listen to it on an average level, it'll be okay. Audio video sync has been absolutely perfect. I mean, pretty much every headphone and earphones nowadays have Bluetooth 5.0, so thanks to that, they've been okay. There's, there wasn't much lag at all. You don't get much sound leakage, they're okay. The ANC, as I mentioned before, that works spot on, no issues there at all. Talking to the other person, the other person can hear me, I could hear the other person. I did, however, experience a few glitches at times. Maybe that was my phone or something, I don't know, because I have been having technical issues with my phone. Overall, would I recommend these? Yes, I would, for the price, for 50 pounds, you cannot go wrong with these. Build quality isn't bad, sound quality isn't bad. I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. My friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.